Hello, we are at ITB 2023. I'm at the state of Kerala, God's own country. I'm with uh, the Principal Secretary of Tourism, K.A. Srinivas. Uh, after four years, ITB, how do you feel? Yeah, well, this is my first ITB because I joined the department uh, one year back. So people say uh, uh, this is uh, happening after a gap of three years. So I'm very happy to be here and then uh, I'm very see such a huge uh, exhibition here from all over the world and uh, I'm very happy uh, Kerala is putting up a very big stall here uh, and uh, uh, all other states remaining states from India also some of the states have uh, come up with the stalls uh, very beautiful stalls here and then uh, many people are visiting our stalls so since you are in ITB I, I, I definitely understand Germany is a very important market and beside Germany which are the main important market for in terms in inbound tourists see uh, traditionally UK has been our uh, main market so we would like to consolidate UK market we would like to uh, 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 keep our market share with the UK and all that and uh, apart from UK of course uh, Germany Germany many people travel to Kerala especially uh, for wellness tourism for Ayurvedic tourism and uh, we would like to uh, get more and more customers from Germany and apart from these two uh, markets we are also looking for uh, uh, more tourists from uh, uh, USA uh, the, 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 uh, Australia and uh, China and the Middle East so what about the connectivity in terms of international airports how many airports you have and what kind of airlines they land there uh, well, we, we have four international airports in Kerala, even though it's a small state, but uh, we have uh, uh, airports in Tiruvannathapuram, Kochi, uh, Calicut and Kannur. And all these, uh, uh, they are real, real international airports in the, in the, in the real uh, sense of the word. And uh, operating uh, flights uh, to uh, Gulf countries especially and some of the other countries also. But uh, uh, there are many flights, uh, many flights uh, from, the, from, from these countries. So do you, do you have any statistics of 2022 inbound tourists in, in, in terms of international and as well as within the country? Well, uh, within the country it has surpassed the, the 2019 figures. So more than a crore uh, people have visited uh, there domestically and uh, internationally we are yet to reach the 2019 figure of uh, 11 lakhs people. So we, are, we hope we will be able to touch, I think almost 50 percent we are able to touch now and then maybe in the, within a year or so we will be able to surpass the 2019 uh, figure. Sir, a big question came from COVID, we what we learned is sustainable. Yeah. So do you have any prospective plan for sustainable tourism? Yes, we, we are very strong in uh, uh, responsible tourism. And uh, I can say proudly that uh, we are the one of the first states uh, in the country, I think way back in 2008, to, to start this responsible tourism mission. And uh, uh, I'm sure uh, the, the, the tourists who are coming to Kerala are able to enjoy the village life, they are able to enjoy, they are able to uh, integrate with the local community and then uh, so that the local community will get some, some more income. So and then uh, so many uh, advantages are there and uh, we are very happy that uh, this movement has uh, caught on and then uh, uh, we, we, we have received, uh, I don't know, more, more than 13 uh, uh, awards. International awards. International awards. And uh, recently, I think uh, from the WTM, the WTM also we have received a global award for uh, uh, responsible tourism. So uh, we have conducted a, uh, a, a global uh, summit recently in a place called Kumaragom yeah, in Kota and district recently. And uh, we are taking it ahead. And many people, many of our uh, hotels, resorts, they are also uh, equally interested to take this uh, movement forward. Sir, the last question. Do you plan any new destination to promote to attract more tourists? Sir, Kerala means no people think about Munar, people think about Tekadi, people think about uh, Kovalam, Komaragam and, and etc. But, but uh, some of these places are becoming uh, saturated. Exactly. So there is, uh, we are having a problem of over tourism also 
in one or two places. Mm -hmm. So definitely uh, we are looking into new places like Bekel. Bekel is a new place. Then uh, uh, similar to that, uh, then we have to go into Iriki. Iriki is again, there's a big dam there and then dam related activities we can do. Then ecotourism, uh, uh, places like Tenmala. So uh, we have to diversify into different, different areas. So that is what uh, uh, we are now planning to do uh, in the Kerala Tourism 2.0 uh, uh, version. Thank you very much for talking to Travel and Tour World. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.